Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we have the September Allure Beauty Box. So let's get in here and check out what we've got. So right off the bat, let's dispense with some paperwork. The Allure Beauty Box, which has been $15, I don't know for how long, but for as long as I've done it, which has been a couple of years, is going up to $23 per month as of October. I got in to try and do a year's worth and found it to be too difficult to try and upgrade. So I just canceled it and then renewed it. It seemed to be the easiest way to go. And if you're thinking about doing that, because it's $15 a month, plus it's $165 if you do a year's worth. So that's like paying for about 11 months worth as opposed to $23 a month. So that is just a really good deal if you can swing it. So I'm not sure when I'm putting this up. So time might be getting close. But if you were thinking about keeping the subscription in your life for another year and it's something you can do, I would consider going ahead and signing up for a year. All right, let's dig right in. I'm going to take the lid off. And in all fairness, I have two here. Because originally, as a YouTuber, to go ahead and beat the subscription, and have your box arrive sooner, you could order it from Amazon. But I will tell you, the last two months, it has arrived, actually I think last month, it was within a day or two. This month, they literally arrived from two completely different places on the exact same day. And now, with it going up to $23, I just don't think I'm keeping two boxes, but I have that down there, so we will open that in a minute and see if there are any variations. When we open it up and we have our paperwork and this will tell us a little bit about each of our products and that's what we have on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this other one up real quick and see if there are any differences. Oh, there appears to be a different mask. So when we get to that point, spoiler alert, there's a mask. I'll show you both masks. Okay, well, you know what? Since I spoiled the mask, let me go ahead and dig down to the bottom and get both of them. This one has soothing aloe and this one has revitalizing Japanese sake. So those were the two choices. You would have only received one of these if you only received one box. Let's see what the paperwork says about each of them. Mask number one. It is the Soothing Aloe Mask, $14.20 for 10 of them. So this is a $1.40 value. That's something else that's changing with the new box. This box is $15. It says we will receive two full-sized items, and it was guaranteed, I think, to have a $70 value or more. And with the new box, when it goes up to $23, it's going to have three full-size items and be worth $100 or more. I'm really anxious to see what changes. This says, as someone with dehydrated skin, a good moisturizing product is my best friend. In addition to using hyaluronic acid serums and slathering on moisturizers, I occasionally like to include a face mask. K-Beauty brand Glam Ups. Yes, so Glam Up is who this is by. Soothing Aloe Sheet Mask is made specifically for dry skin. Yay. It's infused with aloe leaf extract and allantoin, a popular K-Beauty ingredient, both of which hydrate and smooth. And I can totally use this one. All right, let's move into the Revitalizing Saki Mask. And it is also by Glam Up. And it is $9.98 for 10. So this has a 99 cent value. In this sheet mask, Glam Up pairs aloe leaf extract with its namesake ingredient, sake. The fermented boozy sushi bar favorite is also great for brightening skin. One use of this mask didn't make my dark spots totally disappear, but it did erase the general dullness that plagues my dry skin. I did follow the directions on the packet to snip off the bottom corner, and it was an easy way to squeeze out every last drop of the mask juice. That's interesting. I patted the extra essence onto my cheeks and then down my neck. So if you received the Allure September box, you would have received one of those two masks. There is technically nothing in this that I can't use. The fact that she talks about it lightening up dark spots makes me just a tad nervous. That'll be a game day decision. All right, reaching in next, I have a La Roche-Posay 50 Face Broad Spectrum 50 Mineral Light Fluid Sunscreen. Thank you and good night. <laughs> that is what the box looks like. And because it is a sunscreen, we have all kinds of ingredients and instructions on the back. SPF is great. Use sunscreen every day. That is what that looks like. This is 5 ml. This is the rare formula that actually makes my skin noticeably softer 
and smoother after I put it on. It's even more impressive considering that it's a mineral formula with zinc and titanium dioxide, perfect for me as a nursing mom. And it has a $33.50 full size value, which would be 50 ml. Oh, so that makes this $3.35 worth. It's already open, so let's put a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh, it's very wet. See how wet it is? I don't know if you can. Can I make it? Yeah, see how it's even? I expected it to be more moisturizing in there. Interesting. I'm gonna rub it in. Oh yeah, it feels more like a serum than a moisturizer. I do have a little bit of a pink cast. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you tell the difference? I don't know, but when I look across it, I can see, and for my face, that's absolutely fine, but I do feel like there's a little bit of a pink cast. And yes, it is 100% absorbed and my hand feels like I just used a moisturizer on it. That is indeed the best feeling mineral sunscreen I have ever felt, 100%. Of course, I didn't read the ingredients, but if I can, I will absolutely be using these. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one in case once I read the ingredients, it's something I can't use, I'll know this is the one that I opened. Okay, reaching in next, and I'm going for this because it's very exciting and it so makes having two of these worthwhile this month. I have Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Elemis has several lines. The Pro Collagen line is absolutely, hands down, 100%. Is there any other way to say it? No, I don't think so. My favorite. It does not irritate my skin at all. So when we open it up, and I have had this in the past, and I really like it. This is perfect for a double cleanse. It smells nice. It's just a nice kind of oily balm. It takes so little. It doesn't irritate my face at all. I use it, and then I use, and we have talked about this, the Erno Laszlo Mud Mask Bar. That's my second cleanse, but this I love as a first cleanse, and it just immediately melts and makes you a little oily. The best way to use this is to put it on your dry skin, get it good and worked in, and then I use one of my cloths, and I love the Norwex cloths. I will try and remember to show you one of those in like my next favorites, but if you have like a makeup eraser, that'll work fine. I just get it good and damp with warm water, and then I squeeze out all the excess moisture, because I have found, at least for my skin, the less I involve water in makeup removing balms, the easier it is to get off my skin. If I my face happens to get a little damp first, it doesn't work. If I have too much water still on my washcloth when I go to wipe it off, it doesn't work as well. The least amount of water that you can add is what I have found makes it work the best. But this just feels, it feels so good. And it smells fresh and nice. And I have two and I'm super excited. Let me read to you what they have to say about it now that I have done a dissertation on it. So her opinion on it is, I thought I knew how to remove my makeup, but now I'm rethinking all of the scrubbing I used to go through. The Game Changer, this cult classic cleansing balm. I start by warming the hydrating algae and shea butter formula between my fingertips until it becomes an oil. Then I gently massage it all over my face. Yeah, I just scoop it right out here and I make it become an oil on my face. Then this says, with water, the balm transforms into a milky cleanser and I can see my makeup melting away. You can simply rinse with several splashes of water but I prefer to wipe everything off with a damp, warm washcloth. Not only does it whisk away grime, the balm also moisturizes with nine essential oils. So those are their instructions, and I'm sure they're quite right. I like it better when I don't add water. And it says that full size is a $64 value. It does not tell me what the full size is, but this is 20 grams, so I will let you know here how much this is worth and then the full size is $64. Reaching in next, I have an e.l.f. highlighting brush. That's kind of nice. And actually, looking at the book, it could have been a variation, but I got the exact same brush in both boxes, so I will set one aside, and let's open one up. As I look at the back, it says it is cruelty-free. That's fantastic. Oh, and it feels really nice. It's a little light. And I don't know if I have any other e.l.f. brushes. I'm not sure that I do, but this feels, it looks kind of classy looking. It's got a very nice, it's just a black barrel and a black, it feels like wood, but I'm sure that it's not, handle. And it says that it is the e.l.f. highlighting. The brush feels really nice. I like that. I will definitely use that. I could see using it for more than just highlighting. 
The paperwork says, I'm all for good powder highlighter. There's something about glowy skin that makes me feel confident. The contour tip of this brush is designed for precise highlighting of cheek and brow bones. During the summer, I also sweep it across my collarbone. The bristles pick up powder with one touch and feel as soft as a feather. They really do feel very soft. And if you're looking for an out of this world glow, dip the brush into your highlighter and then spritz the bristles with a setting spray before brushing on your makeup. Interesting. And it has a $4 value. Now I got this in each of my two boxes, but I could have received a NYX Pro Contour Brush. And that had a $14 value. And that is what that one looked like. Okay. All right, reaching in next, I have a Clio Noir Twist Up Eyeliner. Let's see what this looks like on the inside. This looks a little smaller than a full size would be, so maybe it's like a deluxe sample. Ooh, it's in purple. <laughs> you might have guessed, I like purple. I hope that comes across. Oh, I wonder if the other one, I have the exact same thing in the other box. Let's see if it's purple too. It is also purple, the exact same color, so I will put it back in here. And I will set it aside for a giveaway. That is what that looked like from the front. Let's see what the paperwork says about it. I have never heard of this brand. Let me know below if you've tried anything of theirs. Actually, it implies that it is a full size and says it has an $18 value. Okay, there you go. Cleo Noir Twist Up Eyeliner in Purple. Well, if I had read this first, we would have known they were both purple. For years, I mostly used black liner because the available color options weren't ideal for girls with medium brown skin tones like mine. Thankfully, Things have changed. Now I wear a lot of color. Cleo Noir's purple liner has a buttery smooth formula and a beautiful violet tone. It's something you notice on second look. Plus, it's got some sparkle. Oh, I don't always love that in an eyeliner because I'm afraid I'm going to get it in my eye, which is perfect for a smoky night look. You can also wear it during the day. For me, glitter is neutral. I have always liked purple in eyeliners or in eyeshadows because I have really hazel leaning toward green eyes and it really helps the green come out. Look how fine that point is when you twist it up. That's a really nice point. It is very creamy. I don't see any glitter, which I personally see as a good thing. I see no, I mean, I'm going back and forth. I don't see any glitter in that. Can you guys see any glitter? I don't see any glitter. But that's when I went back and forth. But you can get one thin line. I love this color. And like I said, because I use a lot of purples in that, I will, I will absolutely use that. Okay, and next we have the Dry Conditioner Instant Moisture Conditions Dry Hair to Control Frizz. And it is from Waterless paraben free and sulfate free and I have this also in both boxes. So it doesn't appear to be in the book it must just be what they're considering a bonus item because there's just an ad on the back and it says thirsty strands try dry conditioner and it says step one dry shampoo step two dry conditioner. So this must be for day two for people who need to add a little moisture in. I kind of do on day two if I can make it to day two I need a little moisture at my lengths because they are out of control. You know dry shampoo meet dry conditioner. Just shake, spritz, smooth, and ah. Instantly soft and smooth hair on days when you don't wash. You know what? If you like it you can use it whenever you want. I'm kind of excited to try that because it's different. And last but not least, and I have two of these, so I will definitely be putting one in a giveaway. I have a Wander Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. And that is what that looks like. It's very shiny. And the person that reviewed this in the book tells us, I first tried this mascara in 2017, the year it won an Allure Best of Beauty Award, and I still hoard every tube I can get my hands on. When I reach for this mascara, I want drama. I look for a formula that darkens, thickens, lengthens, and holds curl all day. Unlashed does all of that without clumping or flaking. The unique shape also makes coating inner and outer lashes a breeze. It doesn't claim to be long wearing, but I worked out in it without any running or smudging. It has a $24 value. Okay, let's check out this brush she says works well on your inner lashes. It's kind of, it's, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's kind of got a little bit Right here at the end, it slants down. Just a skosh. I mean, see how it just goes down just a tiny little bit. 
But other than that, it's got a little bit, just a little dip. It's an interesting shape. I will admit that is a unique shape. I will be trying that tomorrow. All right, so that is it for both of my Allure Beauty Boxes for September 2020. They were exactly the same, except I got the different masks. So I will let you know down here what the value of the box was. And it was the last of the Allure $15 boxes. They go to $23 next month. So if you have any interest in having this and having it at the $15 yearly subscription price, run over now. And if you can work out how to renew, go for it. I found it easier to cancel and set up a new account. Thank you so much for coming by, guys. I really appreciate you being here. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. And I hope you have a fantastic day, guys.